What do you think about uh, Vargas's last uh, fight against Saddam? Um, I was approached by Saddam's people yesterday. <laughs> he asked me if I'll train him. And um, I, obviously, I've been watching that fight a little bit. And uh, you know, it, was, it was a good fight. Um, he, fought, he fought a good fight, I, I felt. And I thought he won the fight. But um, uh, I, was, uh, I don't think Saddam's the, 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 the best fighter in the world yet or anything like that. But uh, he does have, I think he has a, somewhat of a future. but. We'll, we'll see, and uh, will I take him over? I'm not sure. I, just, I don't know if I have time right now. Uh, obviously, uh, Jesse Vargas, uh, the guy you guys are facing, uh, two-time world champion, like you said, um, but doesn't have like the came, same kind of luster that some of obviously Manny's past, past opponents uh, have had. Uh, how do you keep Manny motivated to, to kind of still be at his best? Um, you know, Manny's just self-motivated. Once he comes through the gym doors, I mean, he's on fire. He wants to work, and uh, you know, he averages about 50 rounds a day every day of training. He, uh, his work ethic is great. He knows what it takes to be a champion. I mean, he, these young fighters coming up and so forth, they, they get, just get by, uh, just half-ass doing it. Uh, you, you want to be a real champion and for like an eight-time world champion, you know, you, you've got to work for it. And Manny still knows what he does best and he's still the best. He has the best work ethic I've ever seen in boxing. Prior to the last fight, uh, there was a lot of talk about that being uh, his retirement fight. Last fight, uh, I know you didn't believe it. You always said uh, you, you, you really didn't think it was going to happen. Uh, how long after that fight did you get the call that he was coming back and that uh, you guys were going to do it again? He told me when he's on his way to the airport that night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, this is no surprise to me. Uh, I knew he'd come back, but he had to get the senator out of the, uh, the race out of the way. And his goal was to become a senator, so that was the that was the focus for that moment. But then, as soon as he became a senator, then boxing is back in the picture. Now that he is senator, does that uh, cause any issues as far as you guys, as far as camp or anything I like that? I don't know yet. I mean, because I don't know what the duties of the senator really are. I know congressmen were a little, a little bit less, but uh, I don't know he, he, how many hours a day he's going to have to send him to spend it with, with, with the details, and uh, I will learn that as I go into the Philippines. Is camp going to be uh, in the Philippines now, the entire camp? The camp will be in the Philippines. How much longer before the fight will you guys uh, make it over here? Two weeks it looks like, but Bob just, Bob just asked me to talk me into maybe three. So, oh. <laughs> um, uh, I will uh, you know, for, to make the fight more popular and more, more fans, of course. So, because, and I'll talk to, I will talk to Manny about that and see what we will be here like at the earliest date possible. Prior to um, the Tim Bradley fight, you were saying that you wanted Terrence Crawford. You kind of wish that was Terrence Crawford. Obviously, you're not getting Terrence Crawford. Is do you see that as as maybe Manny's possible next opponent? Do you see that fight actually happening down the road? Or I think it can happen down the road. It's definitely a, you know, a big fight. But you know, the thing is, what I mean, the, the biggest fight for us is a rematch with Mayweather. Obviously, I mean that's the fight I I, I want. But um, you know, we'll we'll see. But if uh, if Mayweather doesn't come to the table. Terrence Crawford is definitely a possibility. I've, I've heard Bob uh, mention uh, Ganello actually as a possibility. I know that was kind of in the works for a while. Uh, what do you think about that? Is that still a possibility? 
<laughs> he's a little bit big, and um, but um, he's definitely a possibility, you know, because I I don't think he's the greatest fighter in the world. I know he's a you know he's a good puncher, and uh, um, he does have knockout power and stuff like that. But I think I think he can be outboxed pretty easily. Yeah. Fight the right type of fight, but the thing is, I, he's a little bit dangerous, though. But um, we'll see. How, how would you uh, approach that fight, as far as uh, with Manny? He definitely would box. I mean, the, the whole lie in and out, and uh, don't stay in the pocket too long with that guy. And uh, don't fall, don't when he faints you, don't put your hands out like a marathon does. But <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no. That was a really bad mistake. Yeah. I seen him make that earlier in the fight, and it's just a matter of time before it happened again. Who, who do you think was winning that fight leading oh, up to no, that? I thought Mirko was winning that fight. Yeah. Uh, up to that point, he was winning, yeah. Yeah. What, what do you, what's your take on uh, this weekend's fight, uh, Kell Brook versus, uh, versus Triple G? Three rounds. Three rounds, really? That's it? Yeah. Wow. I mean, this guy put all that weight on you. Know, how long? How long does your body really get to adapt to having that weight? Much with more weight on. How tired is he gonna get? Um, Triple G is a great puncher, great fighter. I think Triple G pound for pound is the best fighter in the world today. Better than uh, you prefer, pound for pound wise, better than uh, Chocolatito. You feel? Yes. Yeah. Uh, give us your. Is in a very tough fight this week. Yeah. How do you see that going down? And that's a toss up. Man. That's a good fight. It's a toss up. The other guy from Sinaloa, he's no joke. He's a real fighter. No, no definitely. Real, that's, that's a good fight. Uh, a big uh, pound for pound ring. up in weight too. Yeah, he has three. He has another division. That'd be he'd be the first uh, Nicaraguan. Three rounds though, but it's fun. But yeah, but he'd be the first uh, Nicaraguan to ever win um, four four weight four titles in four weight divisions. Because Alexis Arguello, yeah, only got three because he went against Pryor in the yeah. Um, how do you feel the fight when it ever happens, if it ever happens, Triple G versus Canelo? That's a great fight. I mean. Scared of anyone? I don't think Triple G's scared of anyone either. You know, the thing is, fighters aren't scared to fight each other and so forth. But sometimes the promoters, it's in their best interest not to fight certain people. So I think that the promoters are trying to make that fight not happen. But there's no doubt that they will fight each other some, somewhere down the line. And it's going to be a very good fight. I think Triple G, again, he's the best fighter right now, but he's getting older, you know. And the guy, the Canelo's a young guy coming up and getting better and better all the time. So by the time they meet, we can have a, a young guy in his prime and an older guy. That, a lot depends on when they, when they do fight. But the thing is, it is a good fight. Um, both guys have knockout power. And um, I'd like to see that fight. That'd be good. Yeah. Well, a uh, big pound for pound ranking fight that uh, this just got made Kovalev versus Andre Ward. Uh, give us your take on that, man. Um, you know, Andre has not looked good in his last two comeback fights. He's, uh, I think that two year layoff may, may have hurt him. Um, but the other thing is, he is a very, very good boxer, and if he shows up, he can outbox him. And Kovalev, if he goes in there, like me, like he likes to do, and um, he could knock him out. I mean, that's a toss up. That's a, that's a, that's a good fight. I, a very interesting fight. What about is the it? rumors of Miguel Cotto fighting Lamont Peterson? What, do you like that fight if it happens? No problem. Yeah, it's okay. Is that the kind of fight you want for Miguel at this point in his career? Uh, mover? Again, I'm not the negotiator. I, mean, I just get him into the fight. So, but I'll, okay, whoever we can get, no problem. I have no problem with that. You know, Mark said, he beat me with a mirror combat. Um, we'll see. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Freddie. Appreciate it.